guys, today I'm going to be filming the intro for my 7 by Spring project pan. So I chose 7 items that I want to use up by spring. The only thing about this project that I'm changing is the deadline. So right now it's February 5th, and I think people started this project around January, maybe even earlier, and I know that spring starts March 20th, and I don't think that's enough time to use everything up or to get like as much use as I want out of all these products. So I think that I'm going to say the first week in April. That'll give me exactly two months to use these products. If you're really into project panning, I just posted my product Use It Up for 2017, so I will link that down below. But yeah, let's get right on into it. All right, the first product I wanna use up is this Kiko Milano Intense Color Eyeliner in 03. This is a copper eyeliner right there. I am actually wearing it today on my waterline and my upper lash line. You can't really tell, but I think that it made a really pretty lower lash line kind of eyeshadow effect, even though it's an eyeliner. This has a little like thing on the end, so I'm going to measure it from where that metal part ends, where the actual pencil begins. So right now, starting the project, I am right there. That's how much of this I have left. That is a really scary amount for two months. I don't know if I'll be able to use this all up, but I definitely do want to make a really significant amount of progress with this. This has almost gone bad. It's like six more months, and I really want to use it up before it goes bad. I just want to show you. This is the eyeliner, and it it does not budge. Now that is great, but also it doesn't smudge. Like you cannot smudge this. Once you put it down, it's set. That's kind of a drawback, but I think it looks really pretty, so we'll see. All right, next I have the e.l.f. HD Under Eye Setting Powder. The second line is where I'm starting. Ignore the first line, that's for my um, 2017 project. But this is a really nice under eye setting powder. I'm wearing it today, and I definitely think I'll be able to use this up. Next we have the ColourPop Lippy Stick in Lumiere. This is what I have left. I have been trying to use this up for a month now, so I have made a lot of progress on it already. But this is my little sheet, and this is where I am starting with this project. So that's how much I have left. That is the line. I really think I can do it if I wear this every day, and I apply a lot, like I reapply a lot, so I don't think this will be an issue. I hope. I hope it's not an issue. Next I have the Tanya Burr Lip Gloss in Smile Dream Sparkle. They don't make this one anymore. It was her old collection with the strawberry smell. This says it expires in three months. Girl, I have had this so much longer than three months. Like, what? Like, who uses up a lip gloss the first three months they get it? I don't know. It still smells fine. It feels the same on the lips. It definitely definitely has not gone bad yet, but like this needs to go like yesterday. This is so hard to mark and I put it in a glass of warm water because I saw Project Painter do that and say that it can like help the lip gloss settle to the bottom and I believe this is the line. Don't quote me on that, like I'm not 100% sure, but I think that that's what it is. Oh wait, I haven't been swatching these things. At the top here we have Lumiere. Now right here we have lip gloss, and this is the combination of the two, because that's how I'm going to wear this look, that's how I've been wearing this. I think it's really, really pretty, so I hope I won't have an issue using up the lip gloss. There seems to be so much product in there, but hopefully it'll go quickly. Next I have a highlighter, this is in my Z palette. This is the Urban Decay highlighter highlighter in Craze. This was part of their Anarchy face case. And this is all I have left. And I am just going to use this every single day, just like I have been doing. And hopefully it will be gone. This is very old. Let me, I don't know if I can get a swatch of this. Let me, let me try. Ugh, that was a terrible swatch. This is so hard to get a swatch of. Can you see that? I'm wearing it today. As you can see, it's very, very intense. But this is so crumbly. I got this freshman year of high school and now I'm a senior. I need to get this gone. Basically, my rule for things I got in freshman year of high school is I don't want to bring them to freshman year of college. Except for like one blush that's discontinued. I want all my makeup to be gone from four years ago. My last two things are in the Urban Decay Naked palette and I just want to hit pan. I am trying to hit pan on a lot of these shades this year, but I'm not like doing a pan that palette or anything. I just really want to see progress in this. I saw a lot of people say that this is their oldest palette 
yet they don't have progress on it. And when I heard people say that, I thought it was interesting because I had that same thought back in like November when I first started to try to hit pan on some of these. But anyway, enough rambling. I'm gonna try to hit pan on Half Baked and the shade Naked. Now, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, but Naked has a really good dip in it, and so does Half Baked. Half Baked is like so close to getting pan. I'm wearing the two of them today. I'm wearing Half Baked on top of a color tattoo by Maybelline, and <coughs> oh my god, I, did you hear that? I just like choked on my own air. Yeah, I really hope that I can hit pan on these two shades within two months. They're really, really pretty. I love this palette, so I don't think it'll be an issue. Okay, guys, that's everything for this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me know down below if you're doing this project or if you're doing any other project pans. I would love to watch them. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!